Well, since falling in love and deciding to marry, Jen and Rusty for two years have been strengthened by their love and received many blessings through its beauty and its tenderness. They have learned that they can depend on each other and the power of their love, and through each other, they are becoming better people. But today they come before us into the sacred covenant of marriage, vowing to be partners through the trials and triumphs of their shared life. Now they are declaring to each other and to all of us present that they will be by each other's side no matter what life brings their way. Amen? Well, I had them write a paragraph, kind of a, a summary of their relationship, a love story, uh, what this wedding day means to them. I'm going to have them read those to each <laughs> other and to you guys. Well, guys, someone once said that deciding to marry is like following a magnificent hunch. Now, the companionship you'll share from this day on is the hallmark of marriage and its richest and most valuable gift. Now, the contract, is marriage, of, contract of marriage is captured in its essence in the vows that you guys will exchange in a few moments. But that contract is solemn and must be entered into thoughtfully and seriously with a deep awareness of its obligations and responsibilities. So before you say your vows, I'm going to ask you to, to declare your intent to be bound by them. This is the I do portion. So I want you to look at your bride. Russ, do you take Jen to be your wife? Will you give you your devotion, your loyalty, your strength, and your friendship? Do you promise to love her, comfort, honor, and respect her in both good times and the bad? Will you share with her all life has to offer, your hopes, your dreams, your achievements, and cherish her as your wife from this day forward? The same for you. Jen, do you take Rusty to be your husband? Will you give him your devotion, your loyalty, your friendship, and strength? Do you promise to love him, comfort, honor, and respect him in both good times and the bad? Will you share with him all life has to offer, your hopes, your dreams, and your achievements, and cherish him as your husband from this day forward? I now, obviously, marriage is not something that these two invented all by themselves. It takes a far wider community of family and friends like you to make any marriage work. Now, each of you have been invited here today because you are part of that family or that community. So, therefore, having heard Jen and Rusty state their intentions to each other, do you pledge to support their union and strengthen their lives together, to speak the truth to them in love, and with, with them seek a life of love for others? Now, if you all agree with this, please say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I love that part. <laughs> I'd like to read this to you. It's called The Art of Marriage. The little things are the big things, and it's never being too old to hold hands. It is remember to say I love you at least once a day, and it is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted, and the courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in a spirit of joy, and in speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget, it is giving each other an atmosphere in which each of you can grow, and it is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. And finally, it is not only marrying the right partner, but it's also being the right partner. So I just want to remind you that your vows that you guys are about to exchange, now remember they serve as a verbal representation of the love that you have promised to each other, but remember it's not the words that you speak to each other today which will unite you together as one, but it's the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your soul. So I'm going to have you look at her. Repeat after me, I, Rusty, take you, Jen. I, Rusty, take you, Jen. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness or in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Jen, take you, Rusty. 
Hi, Jen. Thank you, Rusty. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. Hopefully in richer. Sickness, in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. You slide that on her finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. To always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Mm. Honor you. And respect you. And respect you. Beautiful. Nice ring. It's beautiful. <laughs> Same for you. I give you this <laughs> ring. Hand? Do you have the right hand? It's the right hand, yeah. Okay, I good give job. You this ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. To always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Honor you. And respect you. And respect you. And you slide that on. Oh, I, guess I, I thought there was one. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't hydrating today. There we go. <laughs> These two have chosen to do a love box, uh, kind of a unity ceremony <laughs> together. And um, like good wine, a great love will deepen and mature with age. As a part of today's ceremony, Rusty and Jen have captured their thoughts, which the letters that we read, they're going to go into the box. Um, capture the thoughts leading up to this day in personal notes to each other, and these notes will now be enclosed into this box. Now, should Rusty and Jen ever find their marriage facing tough times, they will open the box. We're going to put wine in it, too. <laughs> Sit and drink the wine together. Then read the letters they wrote to one another to be reminded of the reasons why they made this commitment today. Now, the hope is, however, that Rusty and Jen will never have a reason to open the box. And at this case, this is the case, they are to open a box and share and enjoy on their fifth wedding anniversary. Replenish it, and then open it again on your 10th anniversary, and so on. So the plan is to lock it, right, at some yeah. point. So it'll prevent you guys from just drinking the wine <laughs> on any random day when you're thirsty, OK? So just so you know, it's for your fifth <laughs> wedding anniversary. <laughs> All right, guys, before I pronounce you man and wife, I have just one more thing I want you guys to do. Your wedding day is one that seems to fly. It's filled with emotion, friends, rings, and dances to come. And many people remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. So I want you guys to take a few seconds, and I want you to look into each other's eyes. And I want you to think about the happiness that you're feeling right now in this place and in this moment. Let that feeling register in your heart. Now I want you to think about your life together in 20 years. Where are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, we all know that your visions of a future, they're not identical, but they are always complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. Now a dream you dream together, that is reality. And that new reality starts now. So Jenna, rested before God and your family and friends, you have made your promise to be loving and faithful in your life together. Now, because you promised your love to one another in this fashion, and promised the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce you husband mm. and wife. You may kiss your bride. Mm. You guys done? We're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, it is my honor to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Rusty and Jen Fashingbauer. Yeah.